welcome everybody. This video is going to cover how to apply vector transformations, rotations about the x-axis and rotations about the z-axis to civil design work. Now you'll be using programs to do this most of the time or some of the time, but you want to get this transferable skill of what's going on and when you combine plans, profiles, uh, and cross-section, typical cross-sections in a data set. So right away we're going to try to put in our heads in some way and we'll never will because we'll always be flipping signs around this kind of general 2D matrix. And it that is the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta, the sine of theta, and then the cosine of theta. And you'll see this is basically a 2D rotation. Later we'll put in a shear matrix and we'll also put it in a flip or a mirror matrix. But this is something that we're going to know cosine minus sine, sine, cosine. It's going to work for the rotating about the x or the z axis. And about the y axis is going to be, these signs are going to be flipped. So if you remember the x or z, and these, for the most part, are what we're doing most of the time. This is going to get embedded into the overall transformation matrix that we've talked about before, or in the prior video, to rotate about, I'm going to go ahead and draw off a coordinate system here, the X and the Z, and the Y, of course, goes into the board. That's X and Z. But as we get down here and have a typical cross-section, We're going to want to pick that as the zero, zero point, and we're going to kind of want to flip this into the board. Now, we'll talk about what positive and negative angles are a lot, but in this case, to figure out whether you're rotating, you want to be rotating this positive or negative, you put your thumb down the x-axis and look to the way your fingers are going. That's a positive spin. Though quite often, you'll see that when we're doing this work, we're going to really want to do the opposite of what we're thinking. So we're going to put it, instead of a positive spin, we're going to say we're going to use a, a negative spin. But more importantly than that, because this will always get confusing, you're going to just tend to rotate a shape that you know what the answer's to. And so what that shape that we're going to do before we do any general shape is going to be the shape of Cassiopeia, which is basically kind of just a throne. It's a W. Right, And so you'll see one of the things we'll look at is when you're drafting these up in any design plane, you always want to make the assumption that this is 0, 0 by either moving your coordinate system there or generally putting it down near 0, 0. So in this case, we're going to give these coordinates of 0, 0. This point there will give coordinates of 5, comma, minus 3. This right here will be minus 5 and we'll make that minus 2 just so we can keep track of the left and the right sides. This one is going to be 10 and 2, I'm sorry, 10 and 3, and this one is going to be minus 10 and minus 3. Now that's usually not how a cross-section is drafted, but you notice here, um, actually I should make this a minus 6. I should make this a minus 12. That way as these numbers come at you, you'll be able to keep track of them. And what we want to look at how to do is if we look at this, we want to learn how to flip this thing down into the board. And we'll do that now. The next thing we'll learn to do is how to turn it. I'm going to now draft up a plan and profile here, basically. This is plan, profile. Maybe your plan design looks something like this. There's a PI, there's a PI, and there's your horizontal curve. And maybe your profile is this. It goes down and up and down and up. And it's got some vertical curves in here, those being parabolas, right? 
your plan profile, and this is your typical section. Remember, these are usually 1 to 40 or 1 to 20. This would be 1 to 40 and 1 to 4 vertical. And these typically are the same that direction and that direction when you're drafting them on the plane. And we'll look at what we're doing here when we're drafting this. Drafting at 1 to 1, drafting at 1 to 1, and 10 to 1, and drafting at 1 to 1. But what are we really trying to do when we're going to take doing this typical section? Well, if we look at this typical section looking down, a typical section is going to lay into this like this. As you lay these in, it's going to be perpendicular. And so what we're really trying to do when we take this typical section is we're trying to first rotate it down and then rotate it so it is in this direction. And then that will do all of our, our vector transformations. So that's what we're doing. We're taking the typical section, we're rotating it down, and then we're rotating it right or left as we could. So we're rotating once about the x-axis and then once about the z-axis, and I would recommend doing the x-axis first. You'll see the order of this transformations do make a difference. So how do we do that? Well, we'll leave the translation out of this one. We'll do the translation last. And you'll see eventually with this vector transformation, quite often you move things to the 0, 0, you flip them around, and then you move them back. That's the easiest math. So you basically start with a 4x4 four four matrix that looks like this. The identity matrix, which is 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1. You fill in some placeholders here and a 1 scale there. And you actually put in a 0 transformation to start. Then you decide which axis you are rotating about and you leave those numbers intact. And now it's right here in these values here that you replace your cosine, minus sine, sine, cosine. So in this case, we'll try it this first time, assuming that we're going to rotate the opposite of what you think. So we want to get 90 degrees because we put our thumb down the x-axis and our fingers are going this direction. And actually, that's what we want. So we're going to use a minus 90 degrees. So the values you see are going to be not going to be 0 and then the cosine of minus 90 and if you know the cosines and sines from that unit circle we know that this is 0 because the cosine of 90 degrees in any direction is there and now we want the sine of minus 90 and the sine of minus 90 is minus 1 and the minus of that is 1 and here we want the sine of minus 90 is minus 1. And we fill in the rest of the matrix. What we're going to do now is we're going to multiply that matrix. And we're just going to do this point right now. Because we know this 5 minus 3, if we rotate it about this axis here, should be 5 comma, zero, comma, minus three. And you notice here in each of these, I've left off the Z. It's implied. In SketchUp, you must put that third, and many programs just put that third coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put my vector here of just one point. So five, minus three, zero, and then you hold the placeholder one. Now, if we did this correct, we should come up with 5, 0, minus 3. And if we didn't, it's because we blew the 90 degrees. So we rotate, we're rotating positive 90. So we use negative 90. And this has to do with the fact of whether you're rotating the axis, the set of axes, or whether you are rotating the actual object. So I think this actually might be correct. And if you think about it, the only one we really need to check is this third one. As we multiply this by this, we're going to get a positive 3, so we know this is not correct. I'll show you what I mean. So as I did this, these rotation angles, are, this is going to be flipping it the other way. So let's see how that works. 
Well, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 3 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0, and 1 times 0 is 0. So we have a value of 5. The next one, minus 3 times 0 is 0. I'm sorry, 5 times 0 is 0, minus 3 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0. And now this next time, we have 5 times 0 is 0, minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. And 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0. And then this last row almost always turns out to be 1. I think it always does. And so we see that we, when we used a minus 90 degree, when we used a minus 90 degree, we got a positive 1 here. So in effect, we did it wrong. Because we minus 90 degree, again, the sign of minus 90 degrees is minus 1. Another negative makes it a positive 1. But this flipped our matrix the wrong way. So we come back, put a negative and a positive here, and we redo it again. And you can see in this case, it turns out to be minus 3 there. So in this case, we're going to see we rotated this plus 90 degrees, so it turned out to be the correct thing to actually use what you did. And we're going to look at that over and over again. But the fact, what I want you to grab is, and you can go to Wikipedia and you can go to all kinds of different programs and they'll give you this explanation, maybe much better than this, but the reality is learning to test a method on something you know the answer to goes back to looking up at the North Star and saying, what is a tangent of 45? Learning to test a method on something you know the answer to is going to really help you to get some of the sign and the sense right in engineering. So what you really want to kind of put in your brain is the fact of this matrix, the starting matrix, what you hold. So when you're rotating about the x-axis, you're, you're holding these. When you rotate about the y-axis, you're holding these. And when you rotate about the z-axis, you're holding these. And then that cosine, minus sine, sine, cosine, which is going to work for the x and the z, and the y is going to have these things flipped. And finally, this concept of what is a positive rotation, you put your thumb down the x-axis, and you the way your fingers are going actually is going to be a positive turn and that's going to pay off hugely. And of course this is we've done all this in a right hand coordinate system and as we do this in Civil Design 2 um, class we're going to stick to a right hand coordinate system even though you're kind of doing a lot of your design in the left hand coordinate system because this is really something that's we're kind of calling pure math but it's really applied math. Alright so to review plan and profile and typical cross section the plan is usually is going to be drafted at 1 to 1, plotted at 1 to 40 or 1 to 20. The profile is drafted at 1 to 1 in the horizontal and off by 10. So in other words, if you want to move 2 feet up and down on your profile plane, you move 20 feet up and down. And then the typical section is drafted at 1 to 1. Um, 1 to 1. And it's plotted usually at 1 to 5, 1 to 5 or something like that. Finally, let me tell you, you know that your design goes in the right coordinates. So 2,200,000 if you're in State Plain Central is about where we start. Profile. The starting point or any point on the profile should be equal to the station and then the elevation times 10. And what you'll see when we start laying out these profiles, this is a non-negotiable for me. This is... Um, and for many who have really worked in a lot of different programs because this is going to give you a redundant system. You'll be able to get a listing of your information using um, Civil 3D but also using base AutoCAD tools and you'll be able to transfer things around from one program to the other. And this one we tend to want to always draft this at 0, 0 and we draft it 1 to 1 either way. Alright, next time you'll see how what we can do is instead of using just one column, we can use a bunch of columns and transform the whole matrix. Thanks for listening.